I'm going to do a video on installing this Transgo AX4S Mr. Shift kit. I'm going to do all the steps in the kit. And then uh, when I put my transmission back together, I'm going to see if the car drives any differently. There's also another one that's um, white. It's, 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 it's pretty much almost identical to that one, except it's white. It Maybe it's a little shorter, though. But I think I'm going to put inside there it's like a big worn out area right there so i don't know if that definitely good to replace this main regular boost valve sleeve Yeah, it says to install new relief bushing. I think that's right here. Spring. And the valve is in there. Relief, new relief bushing in here. This is the old piece right here. And this is the new one here. The spring is a little bit skinnier and it's hard to get in. It's a lot different than the, the one that was in there before. Yeah, you can see it's, I can turn it very, it's in, it's in there very, but now it's, now, now it's nice and smooth in there. One of these things to back it out of there damage it when I was taking it out and then I would smooth it out and it finally finally is in there pretty good. Okay the next thing is be called the third pull in valve which is that one. Looks like the spring needs to be replaced in there. Orange spring which is looks like right there. Okay, you have to lift up on this retainer right here, pull this out, and then there's another spring in here, and then that's the spring that needs to be replaced. Okay, and the instructions, it says to add a check ball right here. It says to add a check ball if there's no valve, if there's no relief valve in this space right here, it says to add a check ball. Okay, it says to drill either one of those holes to 0 0.081 or 86. So what I did was I, I bought a whole bunch of bits and I tried to get bits that were a little smaller than the actual size of the hole. And if you could see, I also filed down the sides so that it wouldn't cut into the outer so you can see that's how I did it. And so now this bit just fits right in here. This fits right in there. Okay, we can sort of See what the hole looks like in there. So 
So that's exactly three sixteenths of an inch. But I, like I said, I started out with a smaller bit and then, but that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like on the inside. Okay, it says he used a punch. So this, this is about what I found. This thing right here, this is about the only thing I can figure that'll, so I'm just gonna hit this with a hammer. And uh, Okay, now I gotta drill this hole right here, quarter inch. All right, so uh, I'm gonna have to, I'm drilling new holes cause I can't get the bit to go on that, on the existing hole. So I'm drilling a new hole. You can see it's right next to it. But see these gears right here, they're hard to, it's hard to get the bit in there. But you can see I'm drilling the hole right there. So that seal right there looks kind of funny. I don't know if you could see that, but it it's definitely out of, uh, I don't know if the heat did that, but it's, it's see how it's like curled right there? So no, I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but maybe I should replace that. I just noticed the seal is The best way I've found to get these, uh, the best way I've found to get these uh, roll pins out is, what you want to do is put something in the middle of them, like a uh, like a tap, or you know something that'll fit in the middle of it, and then sometimes you can just squeeze them with a pair of channel locks and pull them out. If you try to squeeze them like this, they just uh, collapse on themselves and. The, the channel locks will just keep slipping off of it. But if you put something in the middle, most of the time you can just grab it and pull it out. Otherwise, you can uh, hammer it out sometimes. Turn this, turn this like that. And then sometimes you can hammer it out, hammer it through to the other side. Okay, this is right before I'm putting the f cover on. Just make sure everything's on there. Putting the cover on right now.
Got the loop tubes on. Got the loop tubes on. Filter is on. Okay, I got the bushing, the wire, and the, it's like an O-ring, Teflon ceiling ring. One thing I do notice, it stays in gear, like when you let off, you let off on the pedal, the, the car sort of stays in gear longer. It doesn't like just release. I don't know if that's, you know, if that's good or what, but that's what it does. It's running really good though. It's running really good. Um, I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna before I go anywhere, I want to check the uh, the coolant and the uh, power steering again. The power steering is a little stiff turning left, so I want to make sure there. It's probably gonna take a while for it to fill up with. Uh, it's probably a lot of air inside there, but. Um, I hope that's the problem, but uh, yeah, it seems to be working really good. The blinkers aren't working, though. That's weird. The signals aren't working. The blinkers. So I don't know. 
I don't know if that's a fuse or what. But other than that, the car is, look at the needle. It was high, but then it just went back down. So maybe, maybe the thermostat just opened up. I'm gonna go back to the house and sort of uh, 